welcome back programmers in the today's section i'm gonna show you how you can do like this as you can see in here i got a lots of data like game development using python learning python by building games and so on so but in here you can see i just want to see these six object in one page and i want other object in my second and third page and so on so so how you can do this and for that we're gonna do like this when i click on the next page it show me next page objects for example invest your own computer game with python fourth edition as you can see here i got other objects in here and so on so next now i am in the last page as you can see page equal to 3 because i only have 15 data so that's why it isn't showing me the next page and that's why i can go in the previous and so on so in the first page i can't see the previous page buttons so how you can do this and for that you have to use from django.co.paginator import paginator so this is the paginator class we are gonna use today the code is in the description first import from django.co.paginator import paginator p is capital in here now as you can see in here first i grab my all of the data ordered by date because i want latest data you can use the list too you can use python list too but i am using the models then i created a object p equal to paginator and then i pass that object which is nothing but my model data and then i pass this six now what is this six six is nothing but the how many object i want in my only one page if i change six into one so i can see only one object in one page and i have 15 objects so i have 15 pages available if i change it into two so i got eight pages now now you got it now let's try only one as you can see i got only one object in one page as you can see page equal to one let's say i want four object in one page now page equal to p dot page now what is this p dot page is nothing but where do you want to redirect it means when user go when user go in your site in which page first you want to redirect user into which page so you can use default like one in here but i pass the page n equal to request dot get dot get page and one now what is this i'm gonna tell you later what is this why i pass the page n but in this line i just grab the page from user it means whatever user is in page it is gonna come in this page n if nothing happen it means no page is available then pass the one it means first page now in here i am using the try and accept because what if user enter page equal to 100 so there's no 100 page in here so it is going to redirect in first page so that's why we are doing this if page is not available then redirect into first page then we are passing that page in here now let's go in our html section in here you can see i just simply pass the for i in range of page it means for i in page then i print the title of my object then br for new line and then end for it means i can see all of the objects it means when user go in my site they can see four objects in here now let's create the next and previous button this is so simple if user want to go next then just pass the url url is nothing but the your page url and url name my url name is latest book so i have just passed the latest books and then question mark page equal to because we want to move user to next page and for that we are going to use page dot next page number it gonna give us the next page number if you think very perfectly it is so simple this is very very simple and so on so if user want to go previous then use url dot page dot previous page number but there's one catch in here what if user is in the first page and there is no previous page it is gonna give us the error the error is no page is available and same with last page what if user is in the last page and there is no next page available so what you wanna do if user in the first page we don't want to show the previous page button and if user in the last page we don't want to see the next button next page button so how we are gonna do this very simple use the if condition if page dot has previous it means if previous is available if previous page is available this is the inbuilt function you can create your own you can use the mathematics for this if previous page is available then redirect user into previous page and if next page is available so on so show this button if previous page is available 
so on so show this next page and previous page button okay that was very clear so let's try you can see i can't see the previous page button but if i click on the next yes there is a previous page available so i can see the previous button and so on so when i click on the next next you can see in the last page i can't see the next button but i can see the previous button so that's how you can create the pagination system now i know it was the very very late video but i'm creating i'm developing a very huge website for you guys as you can see i'm developing a very huge website for you, you can read book online in my site there's an online code editor just like this now this website is just not for the programmer this is for everyone you can learn anything in here this is the demonstration even you can play virtual play piano in here you can do anything in here you can learn anything in here now this website is very huge so please be patient please wait for this website and that's why i can't creating a video because i i'm so so busy so that is it for today's guys if you like my video just like my video share this video with other programmers hit on the bell icon so you never miss my latest video see you guys in the next video till then just wait for my website